Welcome to Tech Brothers with Amir. In this video, we are going to learn how to use case statement for conditional formatting in select query. Let's open SSMS and then go to the database where your table or views are. And now I'm going to use Tech Brothers IT and going to create a table called DBO customer with the column ID, first name, last name, country, short name, and region. And I will insert a few of the records. So let's run these statements. The customer table is created and the records are inserted. We can take a look by running select query. So we have first name, last name and country short name and region. Now think about a scenario where you have to output this result set and add a new column. So consider if we have country short name and we would like to add a country full name. How will you will use this conditional um, formatting or how you will use case statement to produce or create a new column out of this uh, column. You can go to the first uh, tables and let's uh, instead of uh, typing all that columns here we can uh, right click on the customer table and say select top thousand rows. This will bring us the column names with select query. Now this is good and we would like to add a new column. So first of all you will be saying go to the new line and then comma and say case and then provide the name of the column on which you would like to write the case statement i'm going to write the case statement on country first name so country first name and then i will say when so sorry when it is equal to when pk let's say then Pakistan okay. and then keep writing this uh, so when we have a PK here I want to convert as a full name to Pakistan and uh, let me copy and paste this part uh, so we can just change for other countries when uh, US I would like to say US and say United States of America all right and then we will say end as the whatever the name of the column you would like to give country full name you notice uh, here i only use uh, the when part for two uh, records the uh, two or two different uh, type of values uh, for pk and us i ignored ind india and null value i just want to show you and then come back so we'll uh, select our query and here you can see that where it was PK, we got the country full name Pakistan. Where it was US, we got the uh, full name United States of America. And uh, any value where uh, there is any other value such as India or null or anything, uh, we got the null and that uh, column. So we need to handle these situations as well. Let's say now we know that uh, IND stands for India. We are going to write that IND. So you will say India. So you have to keep uh, writing all those uh, when values this, what you would like to um, provide as a new value to the column. So you keep writing. Also, to handle the situations where you don't have uh, the when part uh, written for that uh, value. So let's say if there is any, any other value and that's uh, we haven't written uh, the when part, uh, we can handle in the else. We will say else. So else, if the values are not among these uh, India, Pakistan or US, uh, okay, else what not provided or not correct, whatever you would like to say, or not applicable. Let's say in this case, we will say not provided. And now you would run it for these value. It is going to convert to these and uh, anything else. Uh, it is going to convert to the not provided. So let's run this query. And now you can see that. For PK, it converted to Pakistan. For US, United States. For IND, India. And where it was null, it will say not provided. The same thing if it will find any other value, maybe uh, DE, Germany or something, it is going to still uh, have, uh, say, not provided. If you have not handled here, so you have to provide all those different uh, uh, checks here, say when this value then convert to this, otherwise uh, at the end you have else part, uh, so that's going to take care any value that's not uh, uh, available in the when parts, uh, so that's where you can handle in the else. So 
we see that uh, this is one way to write our case statement uh, now if we will take the same statements again and we would like to write uh, the when uh, sorry case statement for multiple columns uh, so here I'm gonna call uh, use uh, when country name uh, short name let's say PK and uh, a region is Asia I will say uh, Asian region or uh, maybe yeah we, we can call that one and when country is US and then uh, it's a North America region we call it North America region when India and then uh, you have uh, India is in Asia we know that and uh, we will write that expression when India and region is equal to AS okay then uh, it means Asia otherwise uh, okay not correct value or something so we are going to check multiple things if you remember here we start case and then provided the the country name and when you are doing the multiple checks you don't have to do that so you will be doing one thing like this so you will say case and then you will say when country short name is equal to PK and in my case I'm going to check both conditions should be true so region is equal to AS then Asian country let's say this is what I would like to say okay now the same thing I can repeat for other countries and other conditions so let me write this one so now if I will say US and then uh, have NA and uh, I can call this one North American country now and then you can finally say end uh, and whatever the name uh, you would like to give uh, say region specific okay now as you can see that uh, I have written only the when uh, for two parts uh, so I have written for PK and US there are other records I just totally ignore them so if we we'll run this statement what will happen so now you can see that for PK and where the region was AS it's give us Asian Asian country for a, a country short name where it was US and NA it gave us North America but any other values it is going to return us null if we have not check those values and uh, or if we if we have not handled those values in the else part of uh, this case statement uh, so we can go and uh, write uh, the else part let's uh, write one more thing uh, and show you we are saying when uh, country short name is uh, IND and uh, region is uh, AS uh, that that means it's the uh, Asian country right so if we will do that what happen because uh, the value is not correct now here we see that India and somebody has written region and a that's not right so we are checking if the country short name is India and region AS then Asian country so let's run that and see what happen as you can see that this this part is not evaluated as true so we still get the null even we have written for the parts say uh, for a country short name India and the region NA so that's the uh, not right and our when clause we have where country name India and we want to have the region as Asia so AS that's where it will say uh, Asian country otherwise it will return us the null so if you want to check one condition let's say if any of these are true then you need to use the or so here you will use or and if we run this uh, statement now now you see that one of them is true so the first name is IND the country short name is IND that's true and that's why we are getting Asian country so you can use and or or depending upon your uh, criteria or uh, requirements so in our case I'm gonna check the both parts uh, country and short name and region and then say okay uh, what is whatever the um, re this specific region for this country now I want to handle these nulls so or any records they are here but I have not written a condition for them or they does not qualify among these when classes so I can handle that in the else part so I will say else uh, uh, NA. let's say that's all I want to say 
and I don't know which uh, uh, region specific those countries are if I have not handled them here so I would like to say NA and the rest of that part is going to be stain as it is so let's run this one now and now you can see that wherever we have converted these values they are converted correctly and if any value we have not handled or does not passes this criteria of these uh, different uh, when and uh, then clauses uh, then it will be converted to the NA as uh, we are using else part uh, in the case uh, so this is uh, where uh, if you have a single column you want to check that you will say case that column name and then you start with the when and provide the value and say then what you would like to uh, uh, have new value for the new column and then at the end you would like to handle the uh, parts that does not qualify or you have not uh, taken care of them here in these conditions uh, and you can uh, put uh, as else part and then say end as a new column but when you are handling uh, multiple columns uh, check in multiple columns uh, you will say case and then uh, you will say when uh, the column name itself uh, then have and or or and then say the second column and if you can you can have multiple ends so uh, or multiple ors so depending how many columns you are checking for each of the when and uh, uh, providing the new value depending on that criteria so you can write it once you have these uh, criteria written then you are going to use the else to handle the situation where those records does not qualify among these uh, uh, code uh, what you have written or you have not uh, uh, provided the when clause for them so anything beside these you want to handle that okay you will handle that in the else say okay else if does not qualify for the above criteria I want to give them some NA name not applicable or not provided whatever and then use the do use the same thing say and as the, the column name you would like to create from the table that's all Thanks very much for watching this video and I hope this video will help and I will see you guys in the next video.